Hey, good morning. I'm really, really, really excited that you're here. And uh, I like this space. I like this amount of people here. Because at the Real Estate Resource Center, I have to admit, we have a room of about 25 people in the room. Uh, and this is the same thing as we do at the Lunch and Learn. However, this is geared toward one business model I want to share with you today, and that is a business model that yanked me back out of, I was supposed to be going fishing, and it was so powerful, I said, forget about it, I'm back in. It's an exciting model that you're going to be hearing an awful lot about. But what's really, really, really important is what I said in that video. And I said, you have to focus on two things, and the first person that tells me what the two things are gets a $5 bill. What was the two things you have to focus on? Almost. You're at one of them, 50%. Ah, well, that's the other 50. So a dollar, dollar, I mean, 250, 250. <laughs> so it was in, all right, anyway, you have to focus on yourself and you have to focus on the industry. Let's get right into it. Now, I was born the last of six children. I speak at 120 miles an hour and sometimes with gust up to 500. So hold on, because we are here to give you just an introduction. It may be a fire hose, but I'm always here after the fact. This is an introduction, and it's about you and what else? The industry. Is it about Fred DeFalco? No. Is it about, you know, Remax? No. Is it about Keller Williams? No. Is it about Signature? No. There's people here from all companies. It's not about any of that. It's about the industry, and it's about you. I've been a part of this industry, as I said, for 42 years, and truly, I mean it when I say it. I say it kiddingly, 84 years. There's not been a time ever since I first got my results from my test in 1977. It said, you're past. I went to work on me. My first year, got finished all the GRIs, then went right into the CRSs, and then I went into the CRB courses. I dedicated myself to this industry, and looking back how fast 42 years goes, it's amazing. And I've been a part of many disciplines in the industry, commercial, residential, running companies, uh, a real estate portfolio, my own portfolio of $35 million. In every aspect, not every, but just about every aspect, I'm a licensed auctioneer, and it's been fun. And I am just getting started. I am so excited, more excited, than when I first got my license. It is absolutely, where the industry's going is, I just, I said to someone the other day, I said, I didn't realize when I got to be 65, I'd find a real estate heaven. And that's what I feel like I'm in with this business model. So in 1908, before that, the real estate, it was, it was all mavericks. It was people wheeling and dealing, and people going to say, how much you want for your house? If it, you know, you call what you said, someone said they were in the real estate business, you said, I don't know. I said, what do you think it's worth? You say, well, it's worth 50000 And they go, and they knew it was worth 100 right? They said, oh, okay, I'll buy it from you for fifty, And they go out and sell for 100 I mean, the industry was a bunch of mavericks, and it was all out of control. And then there was a group of 200 people got together in Chicago, and they formed what they call the National Association of Realtors. The National Association of Realtors set up in the very beginning as the brokers, and then it came along that they would have helpers called agents. Many of you may not know this, but I used to be a second-class citizen when I first got licensed. I was only a Realtor associate. You were not allowed to use the name Realtor if you were not a broker. You, it, was, it was against the rules. You had to be a Realtor associate. And that changed eventually, and I'll tell you how it changed. So I'm here to talk about the revolution. That was the first revolution. And I believe there's only been four major revolutions in the business. This was the first one. The second one, it went that this industry went all, all the way to 1973 before another revolution showed up. I was in management when Remax came to my town. I was managing a Coldwell Banker operation when Remax came to my town. I remember my first agent came to me and said, "I'm going to Remax. It's a hundred percent company." I said, "Remax, what is that?" Well, I soon learned what it was. David Leninger. Intelligent guy, great guy, great team, great company. Uh, he came up with this idea saying, wait a minute, the industry's got to change. It's not about the brokers. And by the way, this is the same time it changed where you could become a realtor yourself, even though you were only an agent. David was a little bit stirred that up as well. Great concept. 
And he had such a great concept. He said the realtor should be in control of the business, not the brokers. And he went out and found 100,000 of you all that agreed with him. And he topped out at about 100,000. International company now. David's a multi-gazillionaire. A lot of money flows up from real estate commissions. David had a great concept, still has a great concept. I love Remax. I think it's a great business model. And if it wasn't for EXP, I'd probably be there. Okay? That's how good I think it is. And But he turned the industry upside down. But how many people want to run their own company? Who wants to pay for copies? And who wants to pay for a desk fee? And who wants to pay a 6% franchise, 5%, 6% franchise fee going up top? Who wants to be billed for every whatever you do? Who wants to pay for your own office? There's only 100,000 people that want to do that. But there were some serious business people there. Well, that went along for 10 years, that, that revolution. So that's how many revolutions so far? Two. Then there was a third revolution. The third revolution was this guy, Gary Keller. Gary Keller said, wait a minute, the industry needs something more. Now keep in mind, when David got started, he said, what model will I take out into the industry and try to get agents convinced I have a good model? He said, I will decide I will do a franchise model, because that was what was popular then. Same thing with Gary. Gary had a great concept. He said, I think everybody ought to be profit share because then they'll, they'll, they'll be a feel a part of the company. And they developed a profit sharing program. Great program. 1990, I got a call from a young lady that says, Mr. DeFalco, our company has been following you and we know that you ran the West Coast of Florida for Coal Banker and, you know, and your, your record speaks for itself. And um, I'd like to introduce you to someone. I'd like to have someone come by and see you. And, um, uh, you know, at that point, I had just left Coldwell Banker. I had started a consulting company. I was running Arvida Realty Sales in South Florida. He said, Could, uh, have you ever heard of uh, Gary Keller? I said, uh, you know, I think I have. You know, and it was then back. It was new. Or, you know, he hadn't been around that long, four or five years. I said, yeah, I think I have. Yeah, yeah. Well, he'd like to stop by and see you. Well, oh, sure. And I, and I always kept an open mind. Always. Because I kept focused on the industry all the time. Gary Keller comes by, one-on-one, -on -one, sits down in 1990, and he starts telling me about this plan. I'm looking at the plan, because I was busy. I just started this company, and I was rocking and rolling, and I was loyal. We all wear that loyalty badge, which is good. I was loyal to the company I was with. And so I listened, listened. Gary was a nice guy. Not only a nice guy, fantastic guy. I mean, I was impressed, and we had a good time. We sat there and talked about the industry, the business, his experience, my experience. And the bottom line was, he said, Fred, you really ought to jump on this. This is going to be big. And I looked at it, and I said, ah, you know what, Gary, I just got started here. I'm doing this and this and this and this. And I kind of, as he was on his way out the door, patted him on the fan. And he said, good luck with that model. Well, I made, a bad, I made a bad decision. It was a great model. And Gary went on, and he created a revolution. Did he not? And instead of going to 100,000 agents, he went to close to 200,000. He's capped out. So he said to the people, hey, that sounds good. I want to share the profit. The challenge with that, you have the franchise fee again. So that was the system. Now, how many revolutions is that? That's the third revolution. Now there's the fourth revolution. There's a man named Glenn Sanford, internet startup guy, Silicon Valley kind of person, all, all about technology, decided to go into the real estate business. Who did he go into the real estate business with? He went into the real estate business with Keller Williams. And he had a great, great team, built a $60 million team with Keller Williams. And then they started tapping him for some of his internet knowledge and, and, and his uh, ability to tap Technology, served on a lot of the committees. And so what Gary did, he built a $60 million team almost instantly. I mean, what uh, Glenn Sanford did, he built a $60 million team. But then Glenn's, he's a creative guy. He's a, he's a Steve Jobs. How many would you like to go to work for Steve Jobs if he was still around? I went to work for Steve Jobs when I decided on the XP. This is a Steve Jobs. This is a Bill Gates. This is a Bill Gates. He is a genius and humble, 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 humble. And it's all about the agents. But he sat around, he looked. He started looking at his profit sharing checks. He said, wait a minute, this fee, that fee, corporate fees, office fees. Um, I can, I, if I get 5,000 agents, how much money will I make? You can't tell in the profit sharing system because what's the profit going to be? How many, how many this are they going to do? How many of this? How many of that? So he said, wait a minute, it's time not for a virtual real estate company. Everyone says, oh, EXP, yeah, it's a virtual real estate company. No, not a virtual real estate company. It is a cloud-based company. I go to work just like anybody else. Of course, I decided to open my own office. Um, and it's a cloud-based company. <clears throat> Absolutely different. 
That means I go to work every day into an office and I click and you're going to see how we do that. So Glenn said in 2009, I want to be the Uber of real estate. I want to be the Amazon of real estate. I want to be the Netflix of real estate. And uh, he said, the, there's so much confusion out there and these companies are coming along. They're buying these, all this other stuff going on in the industry. And, you know, we have all these different companies, Rheology, they own Century 21, Coal Banker, ERA, people swooping up, taking money from Wall Street, taking the realtors, you know, and saying, come here, come here, come here. Why? There's a lot of money flowing up the top. Read some of the executive salaries in some of these companies. Read how these companies are going out on Wall Street and raising $1.2 billion, uh, another $400 million financing round in September and valued at $4.4 billion. This is, do you think that you're valuable, folks? Are you valuable as a realtor? You are to Wall Street. They like you. They like you. They're out raising billions of dollars on your, on your, you know, uh, you know, your decision to get up and go to work every morning. Uh, this is Renax. They went public. They went public 67 months ago. Look at that line. Pay attention to that line just for a second. They started out about $30. They, they're still, they, they hover right around between $40 and $45. See that line? If you count the dips, there's 20, about 21 dips in that stock. Not bad. Not bad. The reason their stock was so high because the company was so old, and that company, that company, they had, when they had their IPO because it was running around so long, it started out at a very high price. This is reality. This is Cobalt Banker, uh, Cobalt Banker Commercial, Corcoran, Better Homes and Gardens, Century 21, ERA, Sotheby's. Do you think the stock market's happy with this company? Do you think the investors are going to be investing a lot more money in this company? What do you think is going to happen to this company? I was a part of this, folks. I was a senior executive vice president with Coldwell Banker when they were owned by Sears, and we were sold out. Not sold out. They just said, you're done. No more money. What happens when you don't have any more money? You're done. <laughs> but, you know, this is reality. So what, what's going on there? Well, that's a serious situation. This is EXP Realty. Anytime you're evaluating stocks, and I'm not a stockbroker, disclosure, and, and by the way, we are a public company, so anything I say here is my opinion only. It's not a statement of the company. It's not guaranteeing people any income. It's no guarantee of returns. It, that, we're a public company. Okay, that's a disclosure. This is my opinion. These are some of the reasons I made my decision. Because when I look at that, that's the, what I want to be a part of. That's what I want to be a part of. Amazon stock. If you would have had $100 worth of Amazon stock when it first started, how much would it be worth today in a guess? Just one guess. And if you know, don't answer. Just a guess. What would $100, what would it be worth today? $120,000. $120,000. $100 worth of stock. So you've got, you got Remax. You've got Keller Williams. You've got, you know, Century 21. You've got Cobalt Banker. You've got Corcoran. You've got all these things. What is an agent to do? Well, an agent is to focus on two things. What are the two things you focus on? Do you focus on Fred DeFalco? No. Do you focus on EXP? No. Who do you focus on? No. You focus on two things only. Two things. Yourself. In the industry. So this is what we're here to talk about today. Uh, now, is Kai's company a good company? Absolutely they're a great company. I spent three years of my life with Michael Pappas. Michael Pappas is like my brother. I love Michael. I love him. Literally, he's like a brother. I spent three years with Michael. He heard I was leaving Narvita in 1997, and I was opening my own office, and he got wind of it, and he called me. And he said, Fred, what are you doing? Let's meet, let's meet, let's talk, let's talk. I said, Michael, I made a decision in my career. This was 1997. I'm getting out of management. I'm getting out of the executive leadership. I'm going back into sales. He said, well, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. You know, if you know Michael Pappy, he's a great guy. All right, Michael, I'll talk to you. Well, I sat down. I said, Michael... I want to, he said, Fred, you, you're a great consultant. I need you. I, please help me in the luxury marketing in Palm Beach County. We'll, we'll open that office for you, and you don't have to spend your money. And, you know, and I said, Michael, I want to sell. He said, you can sell. I said, I'm in. <laughs> Let me sell. You're going to open the office. You're going to pay the bills. I love you. <laughs> That's why I love Michael. No, he's a great guy. Uh, anyway, so I decided at that point that not open my own company. I went with Michael. Great company. 90% split with my experience. I walked in and I negotiated, 90%, 90%, right off the bat. And I had, plus I had a consulting team. And I'm not saying that, to be, I deserved it. And Michael knew it, I was worth it. I was worth it, what he was getting. My, first, my second year full time with Michael, I did $35 million. 
That's a lot of real estate, folks. And I mean, I'm not, you know, I had a couple big sales in there, $6 million sale and a $3 million sale. But the other part of it, you know, who was the, who was the, the houses, the individual houses. Now, I was getting 90%. And a, a great company, and I loved it. It was fun. When I did $35 million, I earned my commission, right? And I also earned this. Don't laugh. I love this. What are you laughing for? I love this. You know what this is worth? You know what this is worth? Huh? Just in general, if I wanted to sell it today, what could I get for it? What? How much? Give me two. I got two now. Three. I got three. I got four. I got four. We give me four dollars. I got three. Three dollars. Three. Five four. Five fifty. I got five dollars fifty cents. How about six? How about six? I got six dollars. Everybody six fifty. All right. He's out. Six dollars is worth. Okay. We decided what it's worth today. Six bucks. But I love Michael. I love the Kai's company. I love Cornwall Banker. I was a part of it when it was owned by Sears. Nothing like it. It had nothing to do with what I like. It had to do with where was the industry going? Where was Fred DeFalco going? When Gary Keller sat with me, I made a very poor decision with my career because the company I was loyal to, Arvida Realty Sales at the time, seven years later, they reneged on the deal that I had signed with them. That if I built the company, I would have a piece of the company. That I would own the company. I then, when I switched gear, it's, it's all about you and where is the industry going. I made a big mistake not going with Gary Keller back then. All these companies are great companies. All of them. And some of you are with these companies. I love these companies. But it's all about who? You and the industry. And where is it going? The individual realtor, you have four choices in your career. Only four. Either you can be an employee and you have a job. How many of you are a realtor and you have a job? Okay. Usually that means you're on a team, and the team tells you when to come in, what to do, who to call, who not to call, how to do it. So you have a job. Uh, that's the second choice is you're self-employed. You own a job. You're an independent agent. You're learning to do more and more. This young man here named Paul Saperstein, he started with me his first year with me. Uh, he was with the Kai's company when I was consulting. He was having a tough time right out of FAU. He was thinking about maybe the industry wasn't right, but I said, Paul, come on with me. He's from Baltimore. He decided to come with me in 2000. How many houses did you sell the first year? Yeah, no, yeah, when you came with me, the first year, 14? 14 sales. Pretty good, though, right? How many would you like to do 14 sales? Pretty good, right? Second year, how many? 25. So he owned a job, right? He wasn't working for me necessarily. He associated with me, but he was in control because he was out there doing these deals. And then what Paul said to me, he said, wait a minute, Fred. I'm paying you 50% split. By the way, thank you. That was great for two or three years. You know, I got 50-50 out of that turkey. Um, so anyway, he decided he had to go up the level. He said, I'm not doing this anymore. So he wanted to get self-employed. and he, uh, he took over, right? And then he said, I'm going to get a business owner. And he started, I'm going to get this system and not this system. And I'm going to get an assistant to work for me. What did you go to maybe the fourth year? How many sales? 60? Yeah, 50, 60 sales. And that's when he came to me and he wanted to split so big, I sent him down to my friend, Alan Ionello at Remax. So I love Remax. I love, I love Al, I, Alan Ionello. I love all companies. But it was all about Paul and his career. And I actually said that, right? And, he, you know, because for me, an independent broker, if I couldn't get that 50 50 deal out of him anymore, he actually got up to, I think, 80 20, if I remember right. He's pretty good. Um, so, but anyway, he, he wanted to go up the chart. So then the other choices business owner, you own a system, and the, and the people work for you. Four. The only way you're going to become wealthy, the only way you become wealthy, and that you have something, and, and you can stop working, and you're, and you're done, and you have resources, there's only one way, and you either need to be a business builder, equity, have equity in something, equity ownership, investor, passive income, money, and investments working for you. I'm going to ask you a question. The business model you're with today, this is about you and your business model. The business model today, how many of these levels can you climb up? You can only climb up to three. You can only climb up to three if you're just a realtor. There is no model available today other than one that allows you to go to number four. Matter of fact, EXP Realty, what Glenn Sanford did, he said... He switched these numbers around. He said, number four is number one. Everybody should be a business owner. Fred, come in and help me build an international company. Paul, come in and help me build an international company. Actually, it was Tony, my nephew, who's here. 
He got the call first. He said, Uncle Fred, I'm going to EXP. Have you heard of EXP? Yeah, yeah, tell me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, listen, you know, because when you're blood related, sometimes you don't pay enough attention, right? <laughs> but he got my curious. I said, Yeah, Tony, I did, I did. Yeah, thank you very much, Tony. Click. Well, the next phone call was a couple weeks later. Hey, Uncle Fred. Hey, Tony, what's up? <laughs> Uncle Fred, guess what? I said, What? He said, Paul Saperstein just joined me. <laughs> I said, Yeah, right, okay, what, what's up? No, I'm serious, Paul. Saperstein, just joined me, EXP. <laughs> Paul, how many houses did you do last year? How many did you do the year before? 140. 140. He was slacking that year, see? And he said, Uncle Fred, Paul just signed up for rematch. I said, you got to be kidding me. Rematch. I mean, I mean, just left rematch. Just left rematch and joined my team, EXP. First question I have with Paul, I said, Paul, what, what would you do that for? He said, well, first of all, it was a $65,000 raise immediately. I said, how can you go from a 100% concept, 95% concept, and save $65,000? I got to listen to this. So what does my nephew do? He said, let me just send you a video. I'm driving to Tennessee. I own a big property up in Tennessee. I was going up to it. I watched the video. I got through about five minutes of it, folks. It was a 30-minute video. I said, oh, my gosh. Someone's reinvented the business model. It's about time. I've invented some business models. But I said, they've reinvented the business model. It's about time. And the first thing I saw was that Glenn Sanford had reversed this entire model, just like Remax did back in 1973. And when I heard there was no franchise, and when I heard I could come back, I could open up an office, I could do anything I want, that it was my business, that I didn't have to pay any franchise fee, I, for $149, I now am partners with Glenn Sanford. I am partners with Steve Jobs, <coughs> Bill Gates. Bingo, not because I have 42 years experience. I've seen new people come in. I was just with them in New York last week. New people. They started with the XP. They had two or three sales under their belt. They now they have their own little business going, and they have a network going on around the country. It is absolutely phenomenal. Let's go through this. Are you ready? Here's the fire hose. 11.36, and we're going to have lunch together, right? So let's go through this, and I'm going to save questions for at the end, all right? You may say, wait a minute, you opened a real estate resource center, but you're with eXp Realty. When I saw this, I always had a, I've always been a part of personal development. I'm a part of a thing called Attitudinal Healing Centers International. They're on every continent in the world. I always said, I'm going to open a little center, and I want to be an Attitudinal Healing Center because life just stinks sometimes for some people. Any of it, life stinks for you every once in a while or have in the past. I want to open an Attitudinal Healing Center. I said, man, I could do that. All my personal goals could be reached. I'm going to have, he wants to partner with me? Glenn Sanford doesn't even know me, and he wants to partner with me? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I, I felt like I went to heaven, <laughs> a real estate heaven. So I, I went to work right away, and I opened the Real Estate Resource Center in the bags back there. Before you leave, make sure you take it. Here's a letter explaining it. explains my life philosophy, what I'm doing at the center, because it's bigger than just EXP. If you walk out of the day and say, no, no, Fred, thank you very much. EXP is not for me. I'm still your guy. I'm your resource. I want to help you. And I mean that, sincerely, because we'll wind up doing a deal together. I just did a deal with someone in South Carolina, a land deal, $1.8 million land deal, just by having a conversation. Two different brokers. I got them together. They pulled off the development. I ended up with 2% on a million eight land deal. It's, 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 it's possible. It's possible when you know what you're doing. And I'll help you do things like that. I'm an auctioneer. I went to an auction the other day. I got a call from the U.S. Treasury Department. They want me to help them call some of their auctions and what happened. They were having one over in the bridges, a $1.2 million house. I show up. How many realtors do you think were there? 57 people. 25 registered bidders, all with $50,000 checks in their hand, cash. Well, ready to buy a $1.1 million plus house, cash. Not one realtor showed up. What's it about? What are the two things you focus on? The industry is selling auction properties at 1.2 million. Part of the industry. Why was there no realtor there? Because they don't have a mentor like me. They don't have a mentor like me. Every single one of my agents would have been there. I promise you when I was running a company. And then I've been an auctioneer since 1997. The auction industry is rich with leads. Uh, so, you know, it's not just about the XP. It's about Fred DeFalco. I'm here to help you. If you're a realtor, I will help you. Let's get going. Glenn Sanford, we talked about him. I am so proud to be able to work along with Steve Jobs. And I, I'm going to keep saying that. 
Bill Gates. Look at his stock chart. He knows what he's doing, folks. This is not a joke. Amazon, $100 of stock, $100 of stock would have been worth $120,000 a day. What did I do with my plaques? Did you take my plaques? Oh, there it is. Where are my $6.50? $35 million is worth $6.50. Thanks, Jamie. $35 million, zero stock. I got ESP, I did a sale immediately. $200 worth of stock I got. My first sale. You, you can read it here, you know, the different ways you earn stock awards. Glenn is genius. And that wasn't to become a better mousetrap, it's because he is agent obsessed. He used to say he's agent centric. He's agent obsessed, he knows it's your business because he was one of you. All his leaders, from the CFO down, from the, everybody has been in the room, not ever. just about everybody has been a broker or a realtor. It's amazing, the company that he's put together. Truly the Netflix, truly uh, the Amazon. The, the, I love this slide. Hilton Hotels, you see, who's, you see who's presenting this? Tony Robbins was putting on a seminar talking about where's the world going. It's going cloud-based, not virtual. EXP is not a virtual company. It's a cloud-based company, big difference. 99 years old, $18 billion it's worth. Airbnb, 10 years old, value at how much? $31 billion versus $18 billion, 99 years at it. I love physical offices too. Someone told me the other day, Fred, I love my office. I, I got my own little private office in the corner. I'm on an 80% split already. What, so what? An 80 I love my office. <clears throat> I said, okay, you're paying for it. You're paying for it. Um, because... My $200 worth of stock, five years from the day, again, disclosure, I'm not allowed to say it's going up, going down, I'm not allowed to make claims. It's illegal when you're in a public company. I'm just saying my opinion, my opinion. Cloud-based environment, no desk fees, work from anywhere, cut overhead, bricks and mortar costs, no expensive leases, means the company can invest in agent support and technology. Yeah, they're not invested in big corporate offices. Glenn Sanford doesn't have an office. He works from his home in his car. Um, Regis Corporate Suites membership we'll talk about. Get instant access to training and support. Uh, the Regis offices, you get a corporate membership, Regis office, you can use the community workspace. If you say, I gotta have a private office though, Fred, would you rather pay one time $20 an hour and use an office and be done with it? $20 an hour. That's in Boca. I'm up in Knoxville, Tennessee, where I have a business, I go out there, guess what it is there? $11 an hour for a private <coughs> office. I'm done, I'm finished. But you'd rather go and not get public stock because you love your office? You know, it, it's, he was ingenious, ingenious. Explore the community. <laughs> this is the not virtual community, real world, cloud-based community. This is me in my accounting department. I'm in my accounting department. I just pulled up, uh, reads over here with my hand, grab the ticket. You see the little ticket machine there. You can see I am number one in the wait list. Uh, you can see people when they're talking. Hello, Fred, what can I do for you? Hey, good morning. Uh, I have a question about the stock awards, the amount of money that we earn in the, I know the first five different ways, but the first uh, three, uh, the exact amounts, because I saw a couple conflicting numbers. Could you explain that to yeah. me? Yeah. So, so a sponsor award now is $400 in stock. That sponsor, when an agent that you invite comes in and they do their first right. transaction? They do their first transaction. So the month that you would qualify, it's based off of the you know the price at the end of that month. And unlike the agent equity program, there is no discount for the stock award. Understood. So it's simply $400 at whatever the stock finishes at, right? Okay. Um, capping award is the same, $400. So the month that you cap, whatever the price is at the end of that month, you know, or for four hundred dollars worth, and then the other one, the first close award. So the reoccurring first close award on a yearly basis, uh, it's two hundred dollars. So two hundred dollars for your first sale. Yep, first close of the year. First close. But that's of the uh, that's that's the calendar year. Um, so you know you can receive it as early as January two thousand nineteen, and then you'd be eligible again. January 2020. Great, great. And I see uh, there you have a great helper with you today. Is that someone new there? Just uh, 
Yeah, she just started yesterday. Um, still waiting to get her access and stuff, so she's just trying. She's just sitting on some work conversations. Fantastic. And um, uh, hold a second, just had a window pop up on my computer. Uh, I can only see part of the name, but I'm guessing it's Shannon because I see N O N on the end. <laughs> yeah, Shannon. Yes, sir. That is me. Hi. Uh, you. you also. Hey, listen. I really appreciate you guys. It's always a pleasure doing business, and thank you very much. Yep. Have a good day, Fred. Thank you. Oh, hey, where are you today, Justin? Delaware. And where are you, Shannon? I'm out of Denver. All right. That's so great. You can work together and be so far apart. <laughs> Bye-bye. Absolutely. Bye. Absolutely. Bye. I enjoy that more than when I used to have to go see my office and get in my car, go drive, and ask my broker if I can meet with him when I had a question about my condition. I'm talking about years ago when I was selling. It, it, it just, I can't tell you. And then when I go, and I'm able to go into my training and, and sit there and buy the sixth have a train largest in production and total sales volume out of the mega 1000 brokerages in North America today. We don't just sit around as avatars and play games and shoot at each other. We're not just some avatar 3D gaming world. We're not just a bunch of agents sitting around trying to recruit. Folks, we are in the top 10 in three categories from age account, transaction size, and total sales volume in the country out of the mega 1000 brokerages, which mean our agents are out there more often now because we freed them up to be mobile and to be productive. So congratulations in advance on one of these awards you're about to receive at the next EXPCon. 92 people in the room. The last thing is you're going to hear things like EXPCon, EXPR. He goes into and he starts talking about explore.exp realty. You don't ever have to say in the EXP? I don't know. Because you go in, it's called explore.exp realty. You'll put a a uh, couple words in there and it pulls up. Uh, it's real world. It is not virtual world. It's real. I was in the other day waiting in line with the accounting department and a gal was talking talk from New Jersey. Hey, how are you? Uh, uh, Jay, no, what was her name? <laughs> Sarah. How are you, Sarah? Hey, I'm Fred. The, oh, you're from Boca Raton. She said, oh, I love Boca Raton. I had a lot of people coming down to Boca Raton. I said, hey, who are you referring your business to? She said, you now. And then this is the way you do it. Someone was on the other day in a uh, workplace and all this other support that we have. Um, in the training is, is, is second to none because it's all done by industry experts. Um, the sales listings and lead generation, social media, all this stuff is right at your fingertips. Um, and then you can tap into an archive of uh, recorded sessions. Uh, interact and learn from other top professionals in the company. All, I mean, some of these slides will say 20 hours of training. It's more like 50 hours now. And it's people putting on meetings. People like Paul Saperstein, 200 deals a year. Tony DeFalco, he has records of $700,000 a year in income. Uh, the, my group, for example, Paul and Tony are directly are the ones responsible for introducing me to EXP. Right above us is a guy, 900 transactions in a three-year period in Orlando. Right above him is Marshy Wilhelms in Denver, I mean in... Um, um, Tucson, Arizona. Arizona. Number one agent in all Arizona and one of the number one agents in the world. 600 plus sales a year. She is in our organization. And then you go above that, it's Brent Gove who is, is, is a rock star. Listen to this. How many of you ever heard of Bob Corcoran? Bob Corcoran is the number one, not Corcoran with Corcoran Real Estate, but Bob Corcoran is the number one real estate consultant. He's taken people from $10 million production to $100 million production. Marcy Wilhelms just hired Bob Corcoran for our group. Zero cost. And I can go on and on. Brent Go, 350 houses a year, shares his listing agreements, his listing presentation with us. Paul Saperstein, are you ready for this? Stand up, Paul, just for a second. This is Paul Saperstein, 200 deals a year, folks. This is my nephew, Tony. Stand up, say hello. Tony, he's a, another rock star out of the business. It's phenomenal to be a part of such a team all the way up. Paul sends out the other day, I don't know, am I allowed to say this? You know, free lockboxes, anyone who needs a lockbox? I have plenty, I'll be glad to help you out. Hey, by the way, for the time being, I'm taking your free photography for you. I'll take photography in any listing you get. Why? He, this is his company. I now work for... <laughs> he showed you some of that 50% he used to pay me back. He is getting it back, right? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Making real estate fun again. That's what I wanted to hear. It is making real estate fun again. There's nothing like it. It's phenomenal. And then these kind of people are the ones doing the teaching and the training. Um, the solutions. 
the business solutions is like having the best in the business right at your fingertips at the click of a button of your computer. EXP Enterprise is where your business intelligence rests, right on your computer. You have SkySlope, that's a transaction management. If you were to buy it, and you can buy it, I see, I won't mention company names who are here, but if you went out today and said, hey, I'd like to buy SkySlope, I love that transaction, I mean, I, I need a transaction system. Okay, how much? $200 a month. $200 a month. You can buy it, anybody can buy it. We get it. Workplace by Facebook, another phenomenal program. Everybody's on there sharing their ideas. People in there asking for help with the commercial listing. I'm on there a lot talking about the commercial and helping people out. The CRM and lead generation, that is called KV Core. Some of you may know it by the old name conversion, right? Uh, I mean, the Commission Jane. Yeah, and conversion, yeah. Uh, conversion, it's KV Core. Any of you, again, won't mention the name of the companies that are here, you can go out today and buy that. How much a month? 500 a month. 500 a month. It's included. There, it, it's just, again, we're not a recruiting company. People say, oh, well, you're Amway of real estate. No, it's Netflix of real estate. It's Amazon of real estate. It is Airbnb of real estate. So the lead generation, now, I had a young man, Jamie, Jamie, stand up, say hello. Jamie just joined my team a week ago. He came in, he looked, he's been using uh, Lion's Desk lead generation. He loves it, he's used to it. Does he have to go to KB Corp? No, it's there if he likes it. He, he is doing, I, I mentioned that you stop paying for leads. With us, we have so many leads that we're working on and trying to develop. Jamie will work with you and help you with leads, with his program. Of course, she's gonna be a part of the commission, but you don't have to sit there and pay Zillow and. 500 a month, 1,000 a month, too. That's crazy, folks. You've got these kind of creative people. Just tuning in to Paul's telegram and Tony's telegram and attending their meetings in the world on Sundays and Wednesdays. How many meetings do you have a week now? We have seven meetings, six days a week. <laughs> optional. You don't have to. No, optional. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and these are all sales ideas, share ideas. You had somebody on the other day. How many deals did you do? You're 110 up in Delaware? Uh, yeah, well, we had a $10 million producer or something on the they join in every morning. Top producers train every day. The best way I like to say it is pros do things to get them right every single time. Amateurs do things to sometimes get them right. So literally this guy goes a million dollars a year. Not a part of our group, he reached out to Paul about us growing the team of 70 agents in South Florida. I gave him a lot of free information and said, do my meeting. And he's been such a contributor. It, he's there every morning. I was impressed. After 42 years, I'm listening to this guy, some of his ideas. It was phenomenal. Are so, you there yesterday? Just, no, I wasn't there. He has a database with just 150 people he focuses on, and it produces 30 transactions a year to some 150 people. Wow. And he told us how he did that. It was amazing. Um, the, so you've got the uh, website. Uh, where, where's Jake? Jake's just joined my team here. Jake, Jake says, oh my gosh, right? I mean, he, I, I, this guy here, he drives me crazy already. He's only been around a few days. He's so excited. It's like, stop. I'm already excited enough. I don't need it. <laughs> he wants to pump me up. I say, I can't handle him. I'm 65 years old. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> well, the customization of it. That's, yeah, what, that's, that's what he was last night. He went on and on and on. <laughs> You can put your own pictures up there. You can rearrange stuff. I've never seen that. For, uh, get into agents yeah. to fully customize their own site. Yeah, he laughs like he just went, well, Frank, you know you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. And I don't like saying, yeah, yeah, I know. But it, I really don't know as much as he does because he's dove into it so deeply. And he was just so excited about this website. And by the way, he's a tech guy. This is not the first time he turned the computer on. Okay? Um, and this to me, folks, this is, this is key. This is key. As the guy who's in the training, we're not some people sit around playing with avatars all day or a recruiting company. We are a real, genuine company. Glenn Sanford is the salt of the earth, just like Gary Keller, just like David Leninger. I mean, these people are leaders. They're great people. But the core values here of service is so, the things that the people do in their community. Uh, me, opening up the Real Estate Resource Center, there's a lot of people like me that want to give back. Uh, the sustainability. Did you see our line of stock? Find anybody else that you can find. Not a lot of companies just steady, 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 steady up. Uh, we're sustainable because we don't have bricks and mortar. We don't have big corporate overhead. You know, reality just fired your CFO. What do you do when you don't like your financial results and they're gone? You fire your CFO. So Wall Street says, oh, they're at least doing something. The new person came in. Check it out. $650,000 salary 
uh, our chance to earn up double that $1.2 million in reality that you're paying for. If I, I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm just talking about the reality. Focus on two things. What are you focusing on today? Industry. Industry and yourself. Oh, 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 I just want to point something out. In, in, the integrity, doing the right thing. By the way, we have, we have guidelines. You violate them more than once, you're going to get, you're going to get a little fine. You know where that fine goes? It goes into our pool to help EXP families out when they're in need. We just sent two different families in Tallahassee a bunch of money because their insurance didn't cover all the damage during the last hurricane. Uh, it's, 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 so it's uh, the integrity, the innovation. We go on and on about Agile. Agile because they can make one change and it's, it's announced to the world. Uh, the XP world, immediately. Fun. I've never had so much fun in this business. Uh, community. Definitely, definitely, definitely community. And what's really neat, how many of you, if you go into your conventional office and you say, hey, by the way, anybody, I need some help. I want to go get this four shell by owner down the street. I just saw the sign go up and it's $700,000. Could somebody here help me? What would your office say? You might get, somebody might be nice, but here, you go in the world, you go to Paul, you go to Tony, you come to Fred, I don't care what team you're on. Hey guys, I'm, I've got this opportunity. You'll start getting emails, you go in the workplace. I see it all the time going on at the workplace. So the community is huge. We talked about the lead generation, uh, the workplace, uh, uh, the website, um, the, the culture, equity opportunities. Let's get down to the, to, to the brass tacks here. Now, anything I say is my opinion. This is not a company statement. This is not a guarantee. This is not stocks are going up. It's not, this is my opinion. This is why I am on this team. You earn shares when you first transaction, $200. Earn shares when you fully cap. I'm going to explain what that means. Once you hit a $16,000 paid into the company, you earn $400. Whoops, something happened there. Um, yes, oh, that overlay. Yeah, when you hit $16,000. Um, and then the Icon Agent Award, that's when you should pass a certain level, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Uh, then the Agent Equity Program. Every sale that you have, uh, sorry about that, I went to do an overlay and it, uh, it, it must have moved out. Um, the Equity Agent Program is every time you have a sale, you can take 5% of your commissions and buy stock at a 20% discount. Remember when I said about Amazon stock, and again, am I saying the EXP is going to be an Amazon? I, I can't say that. It's against the law. I, in my opinion, we're going to do pretty darn well. This is, now this is where the, a lot of people go, oh, Amway, network marketing. That, that, no. Cascading revenue share. That means instead of all that money that we're producing going to franchise holders. And, you know, the guy that invested in Keller Williams $250,000 here in Boca, does he deserve a return on his money? You better believe it. You better really, and who gives him that return? His agents. That's the way the system's set up. You got a nice office, you got this, you got, but you're going to pay for it. There is no free lunch, right? But when we come to equity share, a lot of people start going, oops. Folks, what this is, is when Glenn Sanford developed the system, he said, I want partners, and I want every one of my agents to be a partner, and I want to share with you, I want you to be equity partners. And that's what this is all about. You're able to have recruit as many agents, and I don't even like the word recruit, by the way. I like the word attract, because what you do with this is just what's going to attract other people to the company. Because it's not about, you want to join the XP. You, I don't care, you like Keller You, Folks, we're better than that. You know, for some people, how many flavors does Baskin Robbins have? 31 flavors, why? Some people like cherries in their ice cream. Others like you know, nuts in their ice cream. Others like chocolate. So. Is the XP for everyone? Absolutely not. Am I looking for everyone? Absolutely not. You know who I'm looking for? I'm looking for people on my team, which is going to be an international team, that are looking for me. I am looking for people looking for me. I'm looking for someone who says, hey, I do want to go from 14 sales, Fred, to 25 the next year and 45 and up. I want to build a career of 100 sales a year. That's who I'm, I'm looking for people who are looking for me, people that want to grow. And you may say, no, Fred, I just want to make $150,000 a year, and, and I want to spend more time with my family. I'm looking for that. Because I can help you if uh, I brought a, if back there, uh, and I'm going to point this out because this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people with zero talent, okay? Any of you in this room have zero talent? That, that's what I'm looking for. You're, you're, you're good. You're on my team. You're on my team. Who else? Zero talent? One, two, three, four. Good. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people with zero talent. But they understand this other ten things. It takes zero talent to be in on time, work ethic, effort, body language, energy, attitude, passion, being coachable, doing extra, being prepared. 
I'll stay up for you, with you, until 1.30 in the morning to get a deal done. But I won't stay up with you until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't want to spend time with you if you can't hit these 10 things. If you're not coachable, I'm not the right person for you because I'll die for you. But I'm not dying for someone. I'm not going to set myself on fire so somebody else can warm up. <laughs> However, I'll set a fire for both of us that we can get really hot in the real estate business. I'm looking for people with zero talent. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so let me, let me go through this. This example, again, no guarantee, no statements. This is just the demonstrations that I've said to people. I said, what if? What if you only had two levels opened up? But in five years, you were able to sponsor 10 agents. Well, you'd have 10 agents, right? You'd make $28,000 a year. Is that excited? Is that ex you get excited over $28,000 a year? Well, it's $2,000 a month. That pays some college payments. What's your daughter's college payment you told me the other day? Oh, gosh. Well, it's a lot better than Ohio State now, but it's, it was $45,000. $45,000. So that's half, yeah. right? So $28,000. But Susan, just in case, you were able to help those people do what you did in five years, and they went out and got 10. How many agents do you now have? That's 100. Not only does Susan have 100, but guess what? Fred now has 100. Tony now has 100. Paul now has 100. Our team member in Orlando has 100. Marcy Wilhelms has 100 more agents. You may say, wait a minute, Fred, you can't divide all those bodies up. But you can share in the revenue seven times because it's seven deep. You get it? You follow me? So, Susan, how would $348,000 a year feel? Could, could that help? Yeah, okay. Now you may say, oh, come on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But you know, you can't, how many people are doing you know, $80,000 a year in gross commission? That's $3 million worth of sales, Fred. I mean, come on, some people, okay, let's go to another example. Again, this is not a representation of what you can do. This is a representation of demonstrations that I've done. This is uh, just a, my opinion of if I can do this. This is for me, I play with this. If I only take agents that are doing five sales a year, they're only generating $25,000 gross commission. That's it. That's it. Only five thousand. And in three years, I always say three years, if I can convince just 15 people, focus on yourself in the industry, I guarantee you EXP is going to be attracted. Remember the four things? You can either be, you know, have a job or be a job, or you can build equity. If I can convince four people, be my equity partner, like Glenn convinced me, or Tony convinced me to be his equity partner. Paul convinced me to be his equity partner. I'm equity partners with seven people up and the top, right? So if I can convince just 15 people, hey, come on, be my equity partner, just 15 people, and then I can help you then just find five in three years, just five, $25,000 gross. Look at this income, folks. If you do that, you see, you see what happens? And they only do half, and the other ones only do half of that. You just added 465 people to your network. Guess what? You added 465 people to my network. You added 465 people to Tony's network. You had 465 people to Paul's network, and so on. You just added $275,000 a year to your net worth. And when you start doing this, Cheryl, stand up for a second. She was a little bit humble when she introduced herself. This lady is a financial genius. You need her. Get her card today, because you're gonna. If you decide to join me as an equity partner, you're gonna need her to help you manage this money. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, two two hundred seventy-five thousand. Only fifteen agents that you convince and help them do the five. I don't even like showing these numbers. Someone asked me. They said, Fred, what if I did this? And by the way, this is demonstration purpose only. They said, what if I only got agents that are doing twenty-five thousand dollars a year, but I got fifteen, but I help them do seven people or seven and a half people in three years and then what if they only did half of that and that one did a half of that 1340 agents folks this is this is math it's called exponential numbers right it just means it it, it grows it's like a penny a day if i said i'll give you ten thousand dollars every day for 30 days that'd be three hundred thousand dollars correct but i said hey instead of the ten thousand a day 300 you have a choice you can take the three hundred thousand or I'll give you a penny day one and I'll double it every day for 30 days. How many would take the 300 guaranteed cash versus the penny a day double? Don't do, it. don't do it. Cheryl said don't do it. Let me tell you the difference. On day 24, you would have cheated yourself. You would have cheated yourself because you would have only had 283,000. The remaining six days, folks, the remaining six days, 
That two hundred eighty-three thousand would have went to five million two hundred thousand dollars. Five million two hundred thousand dollars. That's the exponential growth. I, I don't. I don't even like showing these numbers. I really don't. But somebody said to me, Fred, what if I got fifteen, and there were people below them. I helped them, and we really did a great job. And and we, I helped them bring in ten extra equity partners. This is what it's about. It's not about recruiting and all that. It's about equity partners. Do you want to be a partner with me? Do you want to be a partner with me? You did, didn't you? Thank you very much. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I'm glad to have you. Um, she decided to be an equity partner. He decided. He decided. They decided they wanted to be an equity partner with me. This year, 15, 10, 5, 2 and a half. Folks, these numbers are crazy. 1 million, what is that number? 1 million 355,000. There's 2,700 people involved. Here, here's what it costs to get involved. It's a $149 startup fee, $50 a month tech fee, $420 a year to the, for the university, um, $25 Oh, 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 yeah, $25 broker review fee, $40 risk management fee. Um, you know the, yeah, okay. Four hundred twenty. yeah, that's right. No. So, so the $50 is now $85 per month. Yeah, that's right. It broke the 420 down on a monthly basis of $35 a month. Yeah, so that, that's the way, for, it's off your first transaction. They actually do it at $85 a month now. 85 right? yeah. Rather than 420 a month. Now keep in mind, those small fees, how much does KB Core cost if you go buy it as an independent agent? 500. 500. How much does SkySub cost? 200. 200. Not even getting into all the other things. Every, every deal, there's a $25 uh, review fee, and there's a $40 risk management fee. Can I add one, one thing? Yeah. In most brokerages, um, who in the room has a broker that charges a transaction fee to buy or sell? Oh, I'm going to bring it up. Yeah, I'm bringing it up. Yeah. It, it, see, your eight, when I get to the commissions, let me bring that up. The $25 broker review fee every deal, the $40 risk management fee caps out at $500 a year. Okay? Now, your commission. Every agent, every agent, I used to do real estate consulting. I used to buy companies for Coal Banker. There was never a real estate office I walked in. If they had 22 agents in the office, how many deals do you think there were in the office? 22 deals. If there are 50 agents in the office, how many deals do you think there were in the office? 50 deals. Folks, 42 years in the business, they only gave me 80-20. How dare they? And that's one of the reasons I signed up. Uh, at 16000 you bring back from the closing table $80,000 gross commission. Here, it's a little under $3 million in volume, right? You're, it's, and again, it depends on how much commission you charge. Uh, you're talking about a $16,000 cap. While you're in that commission split, how many of you charge transaction fees with your broker? Your broker charges, okay. If you charge a transaction fee, with EXP, you get 80% of that transaction fee. So if you're charging a 395, you're going to get 80% of that. Because let me tell you why. Once you hit that 16,000, you go to 100% commission for the remainder of your university year. This little one here is right here. It is $250 cap transaction fee, and then you'll pay that for 20 extra deals. Okay, above your 100%. So if you've been charging transaction fees in the beginning. You're still pure 100%. Let me tell you what happens if you hit, not if, when, forgive that mistake, when you hit 20 extra deals above your cap, do you know what happens to the 16,000? Right here. You get it back in the form of company stock. You get your 16,000 back in NASDAQ stock. How much is Amazon worth if I had $100 worth of it when it first started? Today, 120,000? If you had $16,000 worth, hello. <laughs> Again, I'm not making statements we're going to be an Amazon site. I can't do that. My opinion. That's why I'm here. Um, so this is really, really, Paul, what have you been doing this year? Have you capped yet? Yeah. You capped. So you, you hit, you're you on 100% already. Yeah. Huh? Paul, come on. Don't be humble. Uh, <laughs> Are you an icon agent already? Yeah. yeah. Show off. I knew he'd say that. <laughs> an icon agent is you've done 20 deals above your 100%. He just received back his 16,000 stock. 12,000 of it that's vested in three years, another 2,000 when he attends the national convention, and another $2,000 worth of stock when he goes to the shareholders meeting in June, which you're going to, correct? Because he has a lot of shares now already. <laughs> he has a lot of shares. So he, Paul, today, is it better than Remax? Yeah, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth, right? So anyway, that's, that's the way it works. Um, this is, this is uh, um, 
Everybody's talking about them. I don't know why we had this overlay, Susan. Susan, look at this. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, that's okay. Um, everybody's talking about EXP, and it's not because it's a buzzword only. It's because of how real it is. This is what happens when you have a great business model. Two times the speed, two times the speed of Keller Williams, three times the growth rate speed of Remax. Do you think it's a, maybe a little bit better idea than Remax had? You think it's a little bit better idea than maybe Gary had? It's new, it's revolutionary. And I'm glad that you came out and looked at it because I want you to join me if you're looking for me. If you're not looking for me, don't join me. If you're looking for someone like me to help you in your real estate career, because I'm gonna be around, are you ready for this? I'm making it public so you can hold me to it. Okay, I'm gonna be around another seven years only. Seven years only. Seven years only. You got me for seven years if you want me. You won't need me after the first year, by the way. <laughs> I'm around seven more years, you know why? When you look at a clock, start replacing all the numbers with a six, and 12 o'clock is 72, and that's, I committed a long time ago, I was gonna work until I was 72, not 65. I wasn't gonna retire, I was just doing other things. I was doing my consultancy when this guy calls me and convinces me to come back, and I'm so darn glad he did. Um, and I'll come having a lot of fun because I wanted to become a partner with this man. Um, Glenn Sanford and this whole team here, and I've, I've met all these people, fantastic people, it's nothing like it. I thought when I was with Michael Pappas, I was having a ball, and what a great, wonderful human being, and all the people I've worked for in, in, in Coal Banker. But I mean, it's just, it's part of, it's just fun being such a part. So I, I'm, I'm inviting you to become a shareholder, and I just want to share some breaking news with you. And we're going to end with this breaking news, and then we'll have some lunch. And then it, whoever invited you here, get back with them, or get, you know, if, if, if you came as a part of my invite, call me, and uh, let's get together. Big story. It's pretty exciting. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm kind of blown away. I think there was something special about this. It's an amazing opportunity. I think if you look into it, you'll get very interested. I was told about EXP three and a half years ago, and I was just like, eh, whatever, yeah, whatever. And I just sat back and watched the girl that told me about EXP explode and do phenomenal. She's making tons of money. Very, very, very started looking into it, started talking to a few people. Somebody introduced me to this, and I couldn't believe what I saw. There's a reason this company grew 42% in the first quarter. Frankly, I've never seen a better real estate business model ever. It will change your perception of where real estate is going. People are, are catching the buzz. Once you see and understand uh, the concept, the power that, that, that EXP has for us real estate entrepreneurs, then just take hold of it and run. I'm just doing my regular business every day, and yet all of a sudden I've got the two thousand dollars residual income. I mean, it'll be ten thousand dollars before I before I know it. I've got three kids that I'm about to send to college. Yeah, this, this is they're going to be their college fund. I mean, it's a it's a life changing for many many people, and we're helping agents all over the country. My whole motivation really wasn't for more money for us, really but it was more of what we could do for our agents. I'm fired up about the opportunity, I'm fired up about the future, and I'm mostly fired up about sharing this concept with everyone else. I tell you, the company's a life-changing company. All you gotta do is get on social media and see what's blowing up, and it's EXP Realty. We are the future. Hi, I'm Jeff Willems. Hey, everybody, this is Tom Tron. Hey, I'm George Hunter. I'm Dan Easton. Hi, I'm Philip Johnson. Hey, this is Brent Go from Sacramento, California. Hi, I'm Laura Selby. Hi there, I'm Alan Mitchell. This is my buddy, Jerry Cuff. Hi, I'm Trent Pleasure. I'm EXP Brad. This is, this is our company. Day two, make it your story. How many success stories do you need to hear before you start creating your own? So I invite you, get back to whoever invited you. Thank you for coming out. Grab a sandwich, talk to your sponsors. Really appreciate you coming out today. Give yourselves a hand.